Hey there ladies and gents, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Drew and this is a Rubik's Cube. So, you may be asking yourself, Andrew, where have you been? Have you been off fighting aliens? Have you been doing all these other amazing things? Have you been honing your skills as a bear wrestler in the Canadian wilderness? Well, as much as I'd love to admit any of those things, um, the story that is actually behind my hiatus for about two years is a little bit more entertaining, so we'll stick to that one. So the last video that I did was about two years ago, and naturally I can understand if you guys were wondering where I was in that past two years. And really the only way that I can say it is that I just got really busy with school and there was a lot of other stuff with life piling on and we'll get into that here in a second. But I am back and I did graduate. I graduated from the University of Texas in Dallas. I got my bachelor's in computer science, my BS and CS, and that was a couple of months back, so just been taking some time off, enjoying life, and working on some personal projects. And when I say personal projects, there's actually a lot of really exciting stuff that I've got planned. I've actually got a list of about 20 or so different videos that I want to get going here on the vlog. A lot of stuff that is computer science related, a lot of stuff that is Asperger's and mental health related. And it's really exciting. It's an exciting time. Um, I think the time away kind of gave me some idea to really formulate in my head what direction I wanted the vlog to go in. And what I did was I actually unlisted some of the previous videos that I had made just because I felt like they were going a lot of different places at a lot of different times. And really there was at the start or the outset of the vlog, I really wanted it to be something for Asperger's and autism awareness and stuff like that. But when I started making videos about computer science, it was evident to me that a lot of you guys are computer science students and you enjoy that content. So I think I could do both. And um, I, I, do, I do want to continue to make videos about Asperger's and autism and that sort of stuff. And I do want to continue to make videos about computer science because I know a lot of you guys are, like I said, computer science students and probably working through either getting into computer science or working through your computer science degree or getting towards the end and you just need that last little bit of inspiration. And we all need that every once in a while. So I'm here for that and I've got some big things planned there too. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep an eye out for all those different videos. But there's one other chapter, one other part of this vlog that I wanted to get into. And this is where I talked about like the personal matters earlier. Um, about three months ago, almost three months to today, I was going through some things and I, <laughs> I realized this sounds all sorts of somber, I, I kind of slowed down my speech, not to worry, I'm in a good place now, but when I was about three, three months ago, I had what I believe to be the first time that I've ever really had a major panic attack, and... I had heard friends talk about having panic attack and anxiety and stuff like that, but it never really hit me until literally a panic attack hit me like a wall of bricks. And the only way that I can describe it was I was basically just sitting on my couch, not wanting to do anything, and I was just so inside my head thinking that I was a horrible person and all this other stuff had been going on, and I knew that I needed help. And I want to say that since then, I haven't had a day like that. That probably is one of the lowest points in my life, and thankfully nothing horrible happened, but there were some really, really rough thoughts that I had, and, um, you know, thinking that if I was to continue, that I would only inevitably harm somebody, so life wasn't worth living, and all that good stuff. Again, I'm not suicidal in any way, shape, or form right now, but I, I'm just kind of giving you guys some perspective as to where I was at. But it really gave me some perspective into just how important mental health is, especially to a lot of you guys if you're in your late teens or your early 20s when you're transitioning out of adolescence. It is a very stressful time. You're finishing up high school, you're starting college, some of you are living on your own, and some of you are getting adjusted to college life, not knowing what you want to do yet. That's fine, but naturally it brings some anxiety, and there's always performance anxiety. You want to make the grades to get your degree, and you're always wondering, hey, am I in the major for myself, or am I in the major for somebody else, like my parents or society? Don't worry. It is completely fine to have anxiety. It is a natural human emotion. It is hardwired into our psyche. There is a physiological response to it, and that is fear, and your fight or flight, your adrenaline starts pumping, that sort of thing. 
And inevitably that's what causes panic attacks is just an over exaggeration or over exposure to feelings of anxiety for a perceived threat that really isn't there or isn't as bad as you think it is. And so I'm here to say, and you know, coming through mental health recovery and stuff like that, I'm by no means a doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a trained mental health professional, but inevitably one of the things that brought me strength was hearing other people's success stories. So I want to talk a lot on the vlog about how I got through some of the things that I was getting through. I was actually diagnosed with Generalized Anxiety Disorder, or GAD, G-A-D, and OCD, which up until recently I didn't realize was something that could be purely mental. There is such a thing as called pure O, which is pure obsession or pure O, where you don't do the normal compulsions that a lot of people think of with OCD, where you're like washing your hands because you're worried you're contaminated, or you're ordering things before you leave the house, or always checking things. Those are physical compulsions, but you can still have mental compulsions, and there's a flavor of OCD that sits completely inside your head. And if I look back with hindsight, there's a lot of times in my life where it made sense that I have OCD, and it's only just now that I'm figuring it out. So, but inevitably, hearing that you're not alone and hearing that it's okay to have anxiety, hearing that it's okay to have a panic attack. I had my first panic attack when I was 24 years old, probably, or actually 23, it was a week before my birthday. That was very vivid, um, I remember that point. But it's okay, you are human, and you're gonna get through it, inevitably. And I want to be somewhat of a source for that, and I want this community to be a source for that. I want you to realize that you are not alone, That anxiety is perfectly normal and when you make sense of it really you're never gonna go back to the way that you are I'm sorry to tell you that but you're gonna come back better than you were if that makes sense you're not gonna go back to the way things were you're gonna go to a place that's even better than that because inevitably with mental health when you start to understand how you think how your brain works the theory of cognition cognitive distortion all these things that make mental health a thing and make it a, an issue. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people don't dive into their psyche and a lot of people don't sit with their anxiety and they just kind of let it rule their life until the end of their days. But inevitably when you learn those things, you understand how you think better, you can focus better, and maybe just maybe making allies with your anxiety or your OCD or your PTSD or whatever it is that you're working through, inevitably if you can make amends with that, if you can make allies with that, it can become an incredible force for good. You can do amazing things, you can learn how to focus, you can, like I said, you can learn how to focus, you can learn how to think better. Just think all the good that can come out of this. I know you're probably thinking that it may be the end of your days or, you know, there's just no coming back from this, but imagine just a second, even if it's just for one second, that it all works out and somehow something good comes of all this. And so in the coming videos with the vlog, I really want to hit on mental health and talk about some of the things that helped me through my mental health recovery, as well as tacking on some shenanigans for computer science for all of you in uh, computer science and some of the things for Asperger's for those of you who watch who are Asperger's. And but more than anything, I want you to, whatever reason you came to the channel, I want you to kind of explore the other options there because chances are if you're a CS student, you're in college and you probably need to take a look at your mental health. It's, you owe it to yourself to take a look at your mental health. So watch some of those mental health videos. Or if you're going through mental health recovery and you want to understand maybe something more technical to get your mind off of all the anxiety, then look at computer science because I think it's a, a beautiful field of study and it can really get you to start thinking in a very analytical way that takes you away from the anxiety from the depression all that good stuff so be a scholar look out and click on new videos learn new things and open up your perspective a little bit I want you to come to this channel and get out something firstly that you came for but something that you didn't expect to know beforehand or something that's going to make you a better person so that's my goal moving forward and like I said I've got plenty of work to do so I've got plenty of videos on the docket so be on the lookout I've got so much more time now that I'm graduated and I also have some big news coming soon I can't detail too too much but some personal projects that I've been working on will be coming slightly bigger in scope and I'm so excited to share those projects with you when the time comes but for right now I'm finalizing those details so hang tight I promise you it'll be worth the wait but to wrap things up today friends let's end in the traditional way and it's been so long since I've said this but I'm so proud to say it always remember that you are wanted you are loved and you are appreciated 
You have a special talent that nobody else has, and the world is waiting on you to bring it out. So muster a little courage, go out into the world, and change it. That's what the world's waiting on. You. Hey there, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate you giving me a little bit of time out of your day. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, leave a thumbs down. I learn just as much from the dislikes as I do from the likes. And if you want to continue the conversation, leave a comment down below. You can talk about just about anything from cat videos on to computer science questions or whatever is weighing on your mind. And if you want to follow me on social media, I've got links to my various social medias. I would love it if we could connect on those platforms and you can keep track of me and what I've been up to outside of the YouTube realm and possibly get a sneak peek into projects that I'm working on before they air here on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take it easy.